थ्री टू वन जीरो A proud day for India Space Agency as it lifts off for its 100th mission. For scientists who worked on this project, it was a dream come true. And cheering them on in the control room was a very special guest, the Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. For this historic mission, two satellites, one French, the other Japanese, were launched into space with help from India. For many India Space Agency, ISRO has come a long way since the 1960s. At that time resources were so little some scientists had to operate out of a cow shed. India is also one of the few developing countries with a space program. It began its journey out to the final frontier in 1975 with the launch of a satellite on the back of a Soviet rocket. 5 years later it launched another satellite using its own locally built rocket. Less than 30 years later the country sent an unmanned mission to the moon. which detected evidence of water on the lunar surface for the first time and next year india plans to circle mars the mission is to study the red planet's climate and geology but while there have been successes others have been critical so far the indian government has spent billions of dollars exploring the frontiers of space back home economists say there are more pressing issues facing indians Millions still survive on less than a dollar a day and don't have access to the basics. This is the classic dilemma that India faces as a developing country, but its government says it needs to do both: take care of its people and also be at the forefront of technological innovation. And today it says it's a time for celebration and national pride. Prerna Surya Al Jazeera, New Delhi.